Good evening. Good morning. Whatever time you may be viewing this telecast, I am just one of the servants of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. My name is Robert Dunlap coming giving you Jesus Christ words. Hallelujah. When I'm doing this broadcast, when you when you see it, it'll probably be a week later. Hallelujah. My God, but when I'm doing this broadcast, it's April 23rd, the year 2023. It's 1.44 in the evening, afternoon rather, when I'm doing this broadcast. I just came from the assembly with the saints. When all the saints come in one place. <laughs> Remember all day of Pentecost? And they were all in one, with, in, in one place with one accord. Acts chapter 2. All together in one place. In one accord. Now the saints still gather in one, in one place. Now those places may be in different areas. <laughs> Not in a temple no more. Praise God. All right. So we just left the assembly. And as we were in the assembly, my God, and as I was in the pulpit, and as the pastor was speaking, Pray God. He said something. Pray God in the Holy Ghost. I shot, 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 shot. Zero, zero in on that thing. And I immediately got my Bible and turned to it and looked at it. Hallelujah. And here's what I want to give you. Here it is. Here it is right now. Give you good understanding. You say we are under grace now. We are no longer under law, but we are under grace. That's true. But we still under the law. Not the law of Moses. Not the deeds of the law. Romans 3, Hebrew chapter, uh, uh, chapter 4, chapter 5, chapter 6, chapter 7, chapter 8, chapter 9, chapter 10. Glory to God all day. Matthew chapter 9 and verse 12. Hallelujah. Roman chapter 6. Chapter 7. Chapter 8. Galatians. Hallelujah. We're no longer under the law of Moses. Deuteronomy. That my mother said, you know, Deuteronomy, number the Exodus, hallelujah, with the ordination of the priest and the dedication of the temple and the certain offerings to bring to God and the certain altar to be of God in the certain uniform and the priest taking tithes and offering and your sin offering. We are no longer under that law. But you're still under the law. You're under the law of God. The law of God. The commandments is the law of God. The commandments is the law of God. The commandments are before, Mo, before God gave Moses the commandments on stone. Before he even gave them to him, they were, they were already in place. You don't believe it? Show, 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 show. Adam and Eve broke the law of God. Every day we put out of the God. Cain killed his brother Abel. And uh, you, you see, you see, you see. Hallelujah. David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Jesus said, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, David said the, the law is a lamp to my pathway of light 
to my feet. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm going to call you back. I'm broadcasting. I'm going to call you back. David said, in his law do I meditate day and night. Thy worry have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. When David get messed up with Bathsheba, blah, 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 blah. David broke God's law. God law always would. Ask Solomon go mall. Moses wasn't back there. Wasn't no tithes law from back there. Wasn't no preaching. Uh, go to the tabernacle back there and all that kind of thing. And certain sin offerings. Ask Solomon go mall. Ask the old world. How, why was the old world burned up? Not burned up, but everybody killed by water, by the flood. Why was that? Why, why was that? They broke God's law. It continued to break. God's law always was in existence. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, shh, my, 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 my. No, we're no longer under the law of Moses. We don't have to break no sin offering. <laughs> For I sin. The 10th chapter of the book of Hallelujah, Hebrew. We ain't got to break no sin offering no more. <laughs> you see a difference? But, but Jesus Christ takes away our sin. You transgress the law. When you sin, you transgress the law. You transgress God's law and Jesus' law, which is the same law. I'm not talking about the law of Moses. They're different. Read about the law. Look at the whole setup of the law of Moses. The ninth chapter of the book of Hebrew. Praise God. And the other chapter that I gave you previously. Glory read to God. Hallelujah. You are the great, but don't you know you're breaking the law? The Lord gave this to be sitting up in the pool pit this morning. I'm giving to you this evening. Now, when you all see this, it's probably a week old. I want James. First of all, before we go there, go to Second Corinthians chapter 2. Let, let's look at the law that I'm getting ready to read by Isaiah. Second Corinthians chapter 2, hallelujah to God. Second Corinthians chapter 2, glory to God. Mm. Take a read chapter two. Watch this. I'm sorry. Three, chapter three. Watch this. Show, 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 show. And verse six. Who had made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter kill it, but the spirit give it life. Watch this. I'm just, I'm just skipping for time for, for time's sake. I won't get straight to the point. Verse 17. Now the, the now the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Liberty. For the Spirit of the Lord is there liberty. Keep that word in mind, liberty. All right. 
Now let go to the book of James. I want chapter 1 and verse 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear and slow to speak and slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay upon all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own self. You know the word of God. You continue to say it. You deceive in yourself. You know the word of God and you continue in the sin. You deceive yourself going to church, singing on the choir, and on the deacon and usher board. And got a Bible up on your own. You go in the Bible class in Sunday school. You deceive yourself talking in some kind of tongue. You ain't doing the word. The word say don't say it. Why are you still saying it? You deceiving yourself. Verse 20. If any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man. You, you, you know they say, well, the Bible don't mean what it said. You can't take it literally. Okay, you're not a doer. He like a man beholding that the faith in the glad and behold it. For he beholded himself and go his way and straightway forget what matter of man he would. Here we are. Verse 25. But whosoever look into the perfect law of liberty. 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 Not the law of Moses, but liberty. Free from the law of sin and death. Liberty. My God, all day and night. Liberty. Let go here. And hold your finger there. We coming back to it. Go to the book of Galatians. I think I want chapter four. Galatians chapter four. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. Five. Galatians chapter five. Stand fam, there, stand for therefore in the liberty wherein Christ have made us free and be thy tailor again with the yoke of bondage. The yoke of bondage was the law of Moses. Wherefore, I Paul said to you, if you be circumcised, Christ don't profit you nothing. I testify again to every man who is circumcised, he is dead to keep the whole law. You say you gotta be circumcised to be saved? That taught the law of Moses. You dare to keep the whole law. Watch it. Christ has become no effect you whosoever are. You are justified by the law. You fall from grace. You have fallen from grace, justified by the law. In the part of the law, of the law of Moses. Where you had to do some things and bring some things and bring off and do things and go to the priest of the tabernacle and be circumcised and all that kind of thing. Christ become no effect to you. Though, though, though God gave those laws in the Old Testament until Jesus came and God spoke in the Old Testament and said Jesus will come. Let me get this wine man too. Glory to God. Well, the law, well, the law, the, the law still is, the law of Moses still is, Abraham paying tithe. Okay, so you find Abraham not. Jesus say, this is my beloved son, here, here. He didn't say, here, Moses. He didn't say here, Abraham. He said, did my beloved son hear him? And him, his beloved son, Jesus Christ, said, I have mercy, not sacrifice. It said, this is the blood of a New Testament for the reason of sin. Twenty-five, James two, one, twenty-five. Who said I looked at the perfect law of liberty and continue with therein and be not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work? This man shall be blessed in his deed. The work he's doing, the rightness he's doing, he's going to be blessed. 
If any man among you see be living by not at all, he deceived his own heart and, and this man was living his back. Stay there, Zane. <coughs> <coughs> Three, three, three. Jay chapter three. Here we go. Here we go. I'm talking Jay chapter two. And verse. Let's start at verse 5. Hearken, my beloved brethren, has God has not God sold the poor of this world, rich in faith, as of the kingdom, which he had promised to them that love him? He that had, for but ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seat? Do not they blaspheme that worthy name by the which ye are called? If ye fulfill the royal law according to scripture, that God law, that Jesus law, remember which is the greatest that that, that law you have Jesus, which is the greatest. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and the second is like it unto the first. Love your neighbor and yourself. If you love your neighbor, you ain't going to do nothing. You ain't going to transgress. And sin against your neighbor. If you love God, you ain't gonna sin against God. Verse all. Uh, if ye fulfill the royal law according to scripture. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as I said. If you love your neighbor, you ain't going to do nothing against them. You ain't going to sin against them. You ain't going to commit, commit adultery, steal, uh, lie on them, and none of that kind of thing. The royal law. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as I said, you do well. But if you have respect to person, you commit sin. And I convince of the law is transgressor. You are transgressor. Whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet yeah, yeah, fit in one point and guilty of all. Now, what laws is he talking about? This ain't talking about no law, Mark, bring no tithes and all, go to no priest and sin and all. This ain't talking about that. Here it is. The law that always would, God's law. He that said, do not commit adultery, and he that said, do not commit adultery, said also, do not kill. Now, if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor of the law. You transgress. I don't commit adultery, but I kill. I ain't no, I ain't no sissy, but I'm a false prophet. The same thing. Mm -hmm. So speak ye, and so do, as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. The law of liberty. It's Christ taking away all your sin with his blood. Now, why are you going back to sin? For Christ that took away your sin. For he shall have judgment without mercy. That has shown no mercy, mercy rejoicing against uh, 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 judgment. Now, go to first John. We are the grave now. We we are the grave. I mean, you don't know what grace is. Grace ain't telling you it's okay to sin. Grace ain't never told no y'all. We ain't gonna be doing by our work. Grace will tell you that. Go to First John chapter three. And verse four. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. You breaking the law, buddy. You breaking the law of God, buddy. You break the commandment of God, buddy. This ain't talking about no law, Moses. Bring it off of the tithes and priests and tabernacle and all that kind of stuff. 
and show bread. And all, this ain't talking about that. It's talking the law of God. The same one Adam and Eve broke and Cain broke. And Solomon and Omaha broke. And the one that got driven out of Canaan broke. We know that whosoever commits sin and transgress also the law for sin and transgress another law. You're breaking the law. And ye know that he will man better take away our sin than him no sin. Now Jesus takes away our sin. Now these preachers tell you not where ain't nothing without sin. We say we have no sin. We a lie. Where ain't nobody public. You know he was manifest, take away your take away our sin. Jesus Christ was manifest to take away all our sin. All my sin been taken away. 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 Whosoever bind to him sin and not, you stay in God and stay in Jesus. You ain't committed to any sin, you a lie. Whosoever sin have not seen him, do you know him? Literally, let a man see you. He that doeth righteous, he is righteous, he is right. He that commits sin is of the devil. You sin, you're of the devil. I don't care how you shout it, man, speak it tall. you of the devil. Where well, grass, 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 grass. Oh, show, 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 show. Give me the sixth chapter of the book of Romans. We are the great non lost, and we ain't got to worry about doing no righteous way. You are lying. Give me the six, Romans six, and I won't break fifteen. <sighs> what then? Shall we sin because we are no longer under the law, but under great God forbid? God said no. In the 8th chapter of the book of John, Jesus said, Whosoever commits sin is a servant of sin. But if the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Whosoever commits sin is a servant of sin. That's the 8th chapter of the book of John. Say 15, shall we say, God, we are not, no longer on the law without the great God for being. No, we're not on the law of Moses. But we're still on the law of God. We still got to keep God's commandment. Let me leave you right there. You know, eh, 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 oh, oh. Uh, what is it? Titus 2 and 11. Well, to my will, grace ain't no light to see it. Nobody said grace ain't no light to see it. Ain't nobody said that. You know, show, 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 show. Grace tell you don't see it. Now, why are you breaking the law of grace? Let's get that. We're going to let you go. Titus 2 and 11. Titus 2 and 11. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appealed to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness to see them false prophets taught you where we are the great now, so we got to worry about no works and doing no, keeping no command. They lied to you, teaching us that, that here what grace do, teach us that denying ungodliness. Deny on God and deny sin. Want some sin? No. Let's go sin. No. Deny. And worldly lust. We should live soberly and righteously and godly in this present world. Grace tell you don't sin. Grace never told you to sin. Grace say don't sin. 
you said you broke the law of liberty. Thank you for that. Thank you for that.